Well, these are lovely. Little... <laughs> I feel like this is what I need for this morning. Where's my chapstick? So lovely. Jeff, thank you for the bite of cookie. Oh, feels so good to say cookie. Mm. I'm almost through my Oreo thins. Hello, happy Sunday, everybody. What's happening? Happy Sunday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A bite of cookie before we continue with the Resident Evil Village. No, I, I cannot even... I cannot even tell you how quickly I got off stream and immediately uninstalled Resident Evil. Whalers! How's it going? It's, it's going well. It's going well. Yeah, it feels like my whole body is so sore it feels like i was in a car accident like uh it's it's my arms my back is killing me i thought about putting like a heat pack on it yeah oh yeah so i want to show you guys uh tyson and debbie got me they got me some presents so i was going to wear this yesterday and um, once I sweat through the shirt that I was literally just wearing to like set things up for the stream, I was like, okay, I can't wear this. So this is gift number one. Professional cookie eater. And gift number two. <sighs> It's like little milk and cookies socks. They're so cute. <laughs> Earning money with eating cookies, a dream job. That's exactly. I was like, you guys know me too well that you understand this like professional cookie eater. That's exactly where I'm trying to get to in my life. <laughs> you still have a place to live, I see. Yeah, we we are definitely coming very close to speed running to eviction due to noise complaints, but I have a feeling once we um once we bake the sorry for screaming cookies, once we have that stream, like I I think I think it's gonna it's gonna turn things around, I'm sure. Little, little baking stream, you know, uh, a little for them, some cookies for me. It's all good. It's all good. Are you dropping frames already? Yeah, I can't tell what's going on, but my like, my little like Twitch dashboard keeps spinning, but OBS isn't saying I have dropped frames. I'm not sure. I better not, because then we'll know. My neighbors really are trying to get me out of here. Also, I'm pretty sure... Only stream freaking out for me. No. Kalia! How's it going? Oh yeah, we're gonna, I have to pick a day. I'll, I'll pick a good day for the baking stream. Um, ponder, maybe this weekend? I'll think about it. I keep forgetting which BTTVs are in which channel. Shake him on. It's all good, it's all good. I know, Danger has such good ones. 
I, I've already put in the request for um, some of, what are those called? The, uh, the ones that move, the emotes that move. Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, you guys. Animated, yes. Animated emotes, that's the word, that's the word. I like, <laughs> hey Ray, how far did we get yesterday for the charity? We raised $2,400, $2,400. Uh, I, I was so blown away. Yeah, I, I'm just so your, your guys's generosity it was amazing. Thank you so much. First charity stream ever. Check. Um, I gotta see if Jax has like a PO box or something. So I, I want to send him something to say thank you. Yeah, sort of like yeah. They're they're kind of like mini gifts. Uh, animated was specifically the word I was thinking of, but Bowie, how's it going? Going to lurk, by the way, doing some racing. All good, all good, MC. Good luck, have fun, and uh, I'll see you on the track. I'll see you on the track soon. I, I need to do some offline practicing, um, or I need to, like, what, what do you think Quirk's rate is for private lessons? I think once I, once I figure out drifting, it's it's gonna be game over for a lot of people. I'm I'm gonna come in there, work real hard. <laughs> He's too lazy to do them. Okay, well if I can, if I can uh Quirk's rate would be a handful of cookies. Dan would help you though? Okay, deal, deal. Uh, I'll give Quirk first refusal, and then we can go from there. I would take any. I I think, actually, my arms hurt from the wheel. Part of it, I know, is when I was playing Resident Evil Village, I had completely awful posture and my hands were like this so i think that was part of it but trying to keep control of the wheel is really hard i don't know i think in my mind i was like oh it's gonna be kind of like the wii like uh wheel but it was not just sneak into Quirk's house and borrow his wheel. Or maybe Debbie would be willing. That would be fantastic. Yeah, and my chest. <laughs> Debbie is getting help from Quirk, not going great. Actually, Akaru would be a good coach. Hey, any anybody that is willing to give me a little bit of time, like, you know, you know what I think this could be? I had an idea for this, like, a while back to do, like, uh, I called them the Ray Maid series, and it would be like me playing something for the first time. You guys remember Maid on MTV? Like, I want to do that, but like in specific games. So I could do like, you know, just take clips of how well driving went during the stream yesterday. And it's like, here's where I started. And then I could bring someone on as a coach. And then at the end of the series, like I enter into a race, like. Also Quirk's wheel outputs like 10 times the force of that Logitech one. Think of his arms. Oh, I like I was, I I really don't have that much upper body strength. Like my, unfortunately, my strength is like in my legs. 
and I was really struggling to like hold the wheel at some points. Wait, is Ray gonna sim race? You guys, the um, the surprise content during the charity stream yesterday was <laughs> a story gamer upper body strength. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I um. So I had this. Oh, did I miss it? Dang, I'm sad. You guys, it was it was really not pretty. It was really not pretty. The thing is, I didn't actually like race race. I was playing that beam ng dot drive game. So I was doing like training. I was going through courses. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot of fun and um let's just, let's just kick that over there. It was a lot of fun. Hobby oval racing is my workout. What is that? I racing stream confirmed. Yeah, so I want to like find somebody that would be willing to coach me and it could be over like, you know, we have like two coaching sessions a week or something like that and then at the end of like a certain period of time like i would do an actual race <laughs> next time you can try from the inside of the car oh the camera the camera Forty-two viewers, life, the universe, and everything. Sorry, now it's fifty-two. Utterly ruined. We're 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 talking. Uh... In iRacing, racing, or would you be open to a different sim? Oh, I um, no, I, I wouldn't be like opposed to any. Like I I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, the Beam MG was suggested to me because I had like a training module thing you could go into which i was like okay i will definitely that could be good that could be good oh i see i see well what about i i did a little mini race okay hold on the little mini race that i was doing yesterday on asphalt the ai straight up like t-boned me it was like they didn't even bother to to care that there was like a human person in that car they rear-ended me like in a turn and then another one t-boned me it was like bmmg was good for uh yesterday's stream for that reason yes yeah ju just as like an intro to like driving and racing and like just different i i completely failed at drifting so i'll have to practice that off stream because i couldn't quite couldn't quite figure out maybe i'll watch like youtube videos to see if anybody um yeah i don't know what's going on in twitch my like my stream manager keeps dropping i want to see debbie versus ray versus mrs malone in miatas i like assetto corsa but i don't know how good of an intro game it is drifting in ac is not that bad though yeah rookie had suggested assetto too um because i think there there's like an older version and a newer version so drifting is so different to actual racing though yeah like how i i mean you're not doing like <laughs> i feel like you wouldn't want to necessarily like drift around the whole course but last piece how's it going not gonna lie that <laughs> That beam stream made me afraid to drive on public roads. I I promise that I do not actually drift IRL. 
Yeah, when you race, drifting is bad because it's slow. I think I was trying to, there's, it's like an art. Like taking turns is a form of art because you have to, I think it was like you go into the turn a little slow and then you accelerate out, but you can't do it too much. Otherwise you spin out and you can't do not enough because then you sort of like lost the momentum. Very tough, very tough. You like the older one better? Yeah, um, Rookie was saying that the older one, I think it has like more cars too and is maybe like a little more beginner friendly. So, um, I well, I have the wheel now and definitely want to use it, so. I'll have to think of, I'll have to think of something to, uh, to keep, keep it going, keep it going. A coach would definitely help. The older one is more mod friendly, which means you can get more tracks and cars and stuff. Yeah, somebody in here yesterday was saying that you can actually get mods for Beam NG, I think to make it like multiplayer. <laughs> Euro American truck stream. Okay, so there's a demo version of um that I downloaded of Euro Truck Simulator and I like I was so bad at it when I was trying out the demo that I'm like, okay, I can't show this to anybody. <laughs> I cannot show this to anybody. I think I need to figure out or need to actually go through and set up all the controls on the wheel because i only know the very basic controls and in euro truck you need like to switch between the cameras and like figuring out how to back up and stuff <laughs> seeing getting a trailer into the pickup truck showed a bit yeah that was and actually that was probably the best <laughs> It was probably the best that it was gonna go. <laughs> In case you missed it, Wreckfest would be another fun, not serious racing game. Yeah, I've actually heard really good things um, about Wreckfest for, for where I'm currently at racing-wise. Yeah, it's good, but IRL, a well-set car counter steers for you much more. It's just a matter of steering with your feet. Luciano, how's it going? Don't use the wheel for breakfast. Oh, mouse in. Oh, controller? Whoa, okay. I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> if you want a racing game, I can't recommend Forza Horizon 4 enough. Yeah, I think I want, um, well, I need something to just help me with the basics of just driving. Like, I, th I think I could get onto a course and, like, if I drove slow enough, like, not crash out and, like, not crash into other people. So, if it had, like, beginner's courses and then work your way up. Forest is a fun game. You can drive with automatic and driving aids. That's exactly what I need. That's exactly what I need. I made, bank is back up and running. I made an, the number a bit rounder. <gasps> what did you do, Zonta? Oh my gosh. You did the thing. Zanta, thank you so much. That is way too nice. Sir Elrod, how's it going? And Forza Horizon 5 was announced for November this year. All right, so if I get the previous version, get good when five comes out i can be like i can be one of the first people in there playing it yes 
choosing difficulty, I need easy AI, and I need AI that can perceive my car on the track and not just rear, <laughs> not just rear end me because I am within their like little driving pattern. What thing, what did I miss? Oh, so um, Zanta had asked me this morning if the, uh, if the charity link was still open <clears throat> and I said it was. And they just donated $285. So our total, our total is now up to $2,700 raised. I, I need AI set just to like barely moving, like, you know, just sort of stay behind me, stay out of my way. Thank you so much, Zanta. That was really, really nice. So if we were to raise 300 more, we could get the woodworking stream. That is true. That is true. Yeah, the woodworking stream is $300 away. Uh, I'll, I'll let it, I'll let it stand. <laughs> Mario Kart best sim. Honestly, Mario Kart is sort of where my my skill set is at. So <laughs> not a hey, Mario Kart on Nintendo 64. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Um Yeah, I I remember in college like some of the uh, of course, when everybody was of age, when we would go to somebody's house, they would like hook up their Nintendo 64 and we would like play Mario Kart at the end of the night. And like, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, to toot my own horn, but I've been, I've been playing Mario Kart a while. And it appears some of these children did not did not recognize. Sinciak, thank you so much for the follow. Sinciak Baba. That Mario Kart is the perfect sim. I will, there is nothing, nothing will take that away. <gasps> Little beep, beep. Okay. Um, Let's get into, do you guys remember where I was? So if you remember where I was in Detroit, how much time do you think I have left? We're, we're at the part where um, Connor is at Cam, Kamsky's, Kaminsky's house. I vote to have Ray play Project Cars 2. What's Project Cars? I had Mario Kart set up in my boat for when I was building a cabin, a four hour boat ride away. Should you be playing Mario Kart when you're, like your boat is in motion? Don't you need to be like manning it? Unless you don't have to drive it cause someone else. Project Cars 2 is a racing sim, but it's stupidly hard. It's good for beginners, but the learning curve. Okay, gotcha. Hey Ray, I'm new here and I've been lurking uh, a couple days now. Just wanted to say that I really enjoy your streams regardless of the game, so thank you. My gosh. Kit? Kit? I don't know if that's how you pronounce the first part of your name, but thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you, thank you. It's so forgiving. Okay, well, why do I feel like you're messing with me? Just doesn't have enough players. Cookies, my dog's name is Cookie. Zombie, that's a dope name for a dog. <laughs> Super forgiving. That's what I make my friends play if they want to try Sim Gear. 
What's it called? Project Cars 2? Alright, I'll, I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look. Truly the best doggo. Best doggos are named Cookie. That's it. Boom. Done. Um, okay. Let's get in the game. I have a... Oop. Wait, did I just do it? Yeah, I did it. Okay. I don't have a gauge on how close we are to the end of the game, but I have like three and a half hours. I feel like I should get it started just in case it has to do that thing that it did last time. Oh my gosh, I had a chunk of Oreo on my lip and nobody said anything? Sorry. I just want to get Detroit up and running. <laughs> hey, Ray, you had Oreo on your lip. Thanks, rookie. I'm glad to see you again. Little I can't late. Wait no. to see what will happen next. Okay, we didn't have Remember, to do the thing. You decide the fate of your characters. All of them can die, so be careful. Oh my. Okay. Didn't didn't super need a reminder on that, but thank you. Two to three hours? Okay, cool. Uh did you update your graphic drivers before the last Detroit? That could have been it. I think I do think I had a uh Yes, a Nvidia one. We can't see the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, um, depending on your choices, though. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. Okay, well. Aim to, uh, aim to have it go out as far as possible. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens. Everything is happening at once, like in Detroit. Okie dokie, well. Okay, yes. Uh, I, I wanted to just pop it open just in case. Hold on, there's a lot of things happening. Music off. I wanted to pop it open just in case it had to do that, like, that thing. You know the thing it sometimes does at the beginning, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, and then we have to go to just chatting again, but... a hey, Danger! How are you? I'm sorry I missed your stream this morning. I literally just slept until like an hour before this. Yes, the shaders, thank you, Dig. Did you know the motto of Detroit is, we hope for better things? I did not know that, no. Okay. This thing, this thing she's doing right now, do you see it? What is she looking at? There's something she's not telling us. Uh, I don't know what it is yet, but there is something very wrong that she is not telling us. <laughs> we know for better things, but stuff happens. Yeah, I think if she's Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Mm. 
I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Is she having an existential crisis? She seems really upset. Okay, I think the only way to fix this is to go into game, make all the right choices, keep everybody alive, no hesitation, racisms be done in a timely and precise manner. Done. We go. <laughs> not ominous at all. Yeah, I'm definitely not worried at all any longer. I mean, Chloe's telling me everything's gonna be all right, so that makes me feel a little bit better if I were to maybe make some, you know, incorrect choices. Bail, how's it going? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Mm. Yeah, let me turn turn it up a little bit once we get inside. <gasps> Chloe? Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. What? I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Elijah Kamsky, Cyberlife founder, resigned in 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. Wasn't there one other nice thing girl. in here that I could, uh, sincere? You're right. She's really pretty. Ooh, magazine. Nice place. Analyze. Amanda. Amanda? AI professor at University of Colbridge? Died? She's dead? Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Space tourism on the rise. Luxury holiday makers turn to the stars. With the advent of reusable space shuttles, space tourism is because becoming a reality for those able to afford it. Luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three 
three hour orbit of the moon. A three hour tour. Affording spectacular views of Earth through a specially designed observation deck. As competition increases in this growing market, consumers can expect such trips to become more and more affordable. But consumer rights activists are already decrying such boutique experiences as a sign of a widening social equality gap. A spokesman for Aid on Poverty, AOP, said, While the top 1% are enjoying Earth from space, the rest of us are down here suffering from pollution, famine, and poverty. Clear Skies was not available for comment, but the new slogan for their space faring holidays looks increasingly apt get away from it all cyberlife's fortune teller computer cyberlife develops world's most most powerful quantum calculator hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam <clears throat> CyberLife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops, one billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, CyberLife's director of futurology, Futurology is highly confident. We've been testing for a while and the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions or global climate disasters like meteors or super viruses. The computer can help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predictions from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. Okay, let's leave this open maybe to the space tourism. <laughs> the real poverty is the friends we suffered along the way. Three hours at the moon? How long to get there and back? Oh, that's true. Uh, maybe they leave it out on purpose. Okay. Uh, we'll leave this. Impatient? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Oh, there's something else I can do in here, right? Oh, there it is, there it is. I like missed that before. Sorry. Oh, this is awkward. This is awkward. Glad you will see you now. Get information from Kamsky. What is that? Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. Okay, sorry. I didn't think they had bathing suits on. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, is he swimming in the pool? Whoa. I mean, this dude has a full portrait-sized portrait uh, picture of himself in his, like, I'm entryway. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviance. 
I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Mm-hmm. Fascinating, aren't they? Sure. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Uh... I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Go neutral? Troubled? Neutral? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know.
Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Even though there's more decisions up this way. Did Connor's voice just get less robot -y? Did that guy break Connor? I kn we saw the little, the red on his, uh, little, like, circle thing. All right. Us against the world. What do we got? Aha. Okay. Cops spared in Capitol Park. Arrive with Hank. Oh, so there's a second beginning? I missed something here. I got everything in Kamsky's place. Kamsky test. Spare Chloe. Leave the house. I mean, it doesn't... What's weird... It feels like a no-brainer. Even, even though it's like the knowledge right there, like what you want to know, but I don't know. It's weird. Android Riot. Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. Global population reaches 10 billion. U.S. life expectancy 91. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night, with CyberLife stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. The worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness who asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as the behavior of a deranged machine. Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. The Eastern Space Race. Russia and China's androids face off. The RMMORPG reaches... 1 billion users. Only two countries have Android industries that rival the United States, Russia and China. They are locked into fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, which continues to overtake the Western hemisphere by leaps and bounds. CyberLife's almost human model of Android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed Androids that reflect their national economies. After failing to emulate the blue blood model of design, Russia's Android manufacturers rely on more traditional construction methods. Their resulting machines are less anthropic, but capable of operating in cold and inhospital, inhospitable conditions. China's Androids use an alternative blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation, but greater efficiency. The results are androids capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. Who is winning the new space race? With everybody going in different directions, it's too soon to tell. Why are we walking to an edge? Let's, let's just time out for a second. Florida? 
Florida behind this. Hey, Drews, how's it going? Oh yeah, my cam is over it, but uh, there's, it says tab to exit, but to do relaxing recharging for work tomorrow i feel that drews i feel that i think it's looping so now i'm wondering if there's like a specific scene or like a specific note i should be leaving it on okay let's let's leave it on a, a hopeful sounding note. I was wondering where you were. Okay, I didn't think. I needed to think. My life I didn't good. even quit out. It did that automatically. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Follow. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. 
and scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Optimistic? No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Really good. And then I accidentally killed somebody. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Trust. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust no, each other. No, neither did I, Lizzie. It's coming out the bottom of her shirt, which I didn't realize. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. dead in his studio i saw your memories too the eden club the, the death of that man i felt like i was there with you north back wait did i from the rooftop or is this one of the ones we left out let out Be killed, please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Oh, <gasps> Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free.
last one. Excuse me. You're free. Can I go into these? Okay, I don't want to miss any. Come with us. Chauncey, how's it going? You're awake now. Don't think we missed any. Block the road. Uh, finally, well, I've been on hold for ten minutes. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. Convinced. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. I need to block the street. Open the manhole cover. You are free. You don't have to obey them. You're free. I think I did pretty good. And, ooh, anybody across the street? I might have missed. Andrew, thank you so much for the resub.
immediately. That's an order. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. No more slavery? Yeah, down the street. No more slavery. No more slavery. No Set us free? Set us free. 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 We are alive. We are alive. We are alive. Liberty for inputs? We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. Oh, our I'm peak, so scared. This is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Please don't! Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. <sighs> We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all.
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I already have a massive pile of tissues. Forty percent. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not the happiest game in the world. Thank you, Drew, for the hydrate. Dragon, thank you so much for the bits. Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna get ahead of it and just like stockpile a couple here. What if I ran away? I... You're off the case. The FBI Donnie, is taking thank over. you so much for the follow what? and for the sub. But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. is over. It's time to return to Cyberlife. Wait! I can solve this case! I just need more time! It's too late, Connor. You failed. Deactivation? Insufficient evidence. Oh, my God.
You guys have never seen this before? Oh my god. I don't know. Two, two percent, two percent. <laughs> Leave it to some rare, yeah, the, some rare gameplay. Um, <laughs> we're some special noodles here. <laughs> So I So I don't know. I don't know Jericho's location and I have insufficient evidence. I'm just like, I'm sweating. <laughs> Ray, replayability. I I feel like I didn't play Connor that bad. Like I I made choices. Okay. <clears throat> it's probably a combination of <laughs> sad but that's content I guess I could put this up on YouTube and be like where did I go wrong Wh where did I go so wrong with Connor <laughs> sweating through my new shirt too I feel my heart like broken into a million pieces How? I I need to okay, I need to keep on, but clip that. I'm part of the two percent tribe. Yeah. But but I wanna know like where exactly this one was and this one was. Cause these two, I guess, drive the whole these drive everything. <laughs> if you direct your attention to exhibit A, we can see, actually, it's this one right here. It's not even 97% of people don't know Jericho's location, but it's the insufficient evidence one. Yeah, so shooting Chloe also... um. Uh, back at the radio station, I don't go to the roof. So that's probably another one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's Simon on the roof, and the rest is letting the androids live. So the androids outside of, like, Eden's club also feel like Amanda's opinion of Connor. Yeah, I... I feel like I couldn't do, I didn't say anything right to Amanda the whole time. I just totally misread. I didn't understand, like, who she was. Otherwise, like, I could have made, like, the choices I made would have played more towards, like, she was very, she needs to hear answers that are, like, analytical, like, the android is working. You can't have a good relationship with both Hake and Amanda. Oh. And I I specifically was trying to I mean, oh god, I need to move past this because I'm going to like throw up. I just went through the tissues I just pulled out. Okay. They've been conducting raids all over the city. 
everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. She doesn't know that things are not going to be all right. to them. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Sure. Sorry. <laughs> but we got to see something unique. That's nice. Thank you for for trying, Maine. I just feel so awful. Like, I just... For, I don't even know the how many of time, but I feel like I've ruined the game. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. Uh, I'm so mad at myself right now. Warm place for Alice. Find a place for Alice. Dragon, thank you so much for the sub. And Chronic, thank you so much. Thank you guys so, so much. That is. I literally am getting like the worst ending, and I'm like trying to prepare myself for it. They're only machines, but they, they look like just people, people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. 
leaving the way clear for the Russian army. <clears throat> but according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks in any- Why are they, like, the public opinion is supportive of us, but the media is still, like, trying to- How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. Something I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. It's about Alice. Yeah? We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. The androids weren't doing any harm. The oh. cut them down. Was... Wait, I want to know about Alice right now. Maybe he'll be up top. Let's go top. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people, with people who want to be free. Yes, Following yes, whoever just said that. Realization of all military androids. American forces in the Arctic have been. I, I see war. him in there. I feel like I shouldn't ex like I shouldn't waste time right now, but I I feel like I'm gonna miss something. The Russian forces also. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Thanks for the offer. But we won't leave now. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? Mm-hmm. You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Don't waste time, don't waste time.
beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Violence only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow! I'm sorry. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. Oh my god. To give me the detonator. A dirty. 
dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. No. No. We shouldn't become like them, North. His finger we was so close to that button. What? I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow. It was way too close. I just like, want you to know that. Just I'm use your I'm words and refuse, dude. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Do the androids have cooties, or is that just a human thing? <laughs> I thought the exact same thing, Chronic. I was like, hold on, what just happened here? Press E to view Connor's flowchart. I miss a huge, oh my God. They leave Jericho, but there's something else that I could do. 2%! Oh, why does this keep happening to me? Why? What? What is this? My God. Oh. Wait, did you get the passports? No. No, I, I didn't get any... I, I heard... <laughs> two... Two of my lines are 2%? What is happening? Mar Marcus says he's gonna send somebody... Marcus says he's gonna send somebody with passports... But I don't, I don't actually, like, physically see that happen. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> No! No!
I mean, I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna get the game over ending screen. It was, it was only 3%. I got 2% ending for Connor, 2% ending for Kara and, Al and Alice, and 3% ending for, for Marcus. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I am... Um, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I'm gonna stop all that shit. Uh, it messes me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Hey, I, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow, if, if that's alright with you. I... I just want to let you know... I'm, I'm proud to be your son. Oh. Oh. He didn't die? He didn't die? Do we think he's upstairs? Uh, Carl, Carl's son, Carl's son. <clears throat> okay. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you.
You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? What's resigned? I'm completely lost. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for it to end. Vice? Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. Or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. <laughs> Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? What is this? What is this? One, now we're one percent. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna hit zero percent, right? Like, literally nobody ever has chosen this path. Like, how did you get here? That's, go that's going to be next. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Main, thank you for the bite of... <laughs> 
Wait, yeah, who who made this game? Uh it's like quantum quantum something, right? They're they're gonna DM me on Twitter and be like, okay, so here's the deal is <laughs> Quantum Dream would like to invite you to our offices to study your brain and how how you did this. Like, how did you do this? We need answers because... <laughs> okay, well, well, just to make myself feel really bad, let's, uh, let's see what we're missing here. Night of the Soul, Connor. Mm. I don't even get Kara and Alex's Alex Alice's This is going <laughs> I don't know where this is is going, but this is this is not good. This is not good. We're going to a place. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I cannot even, I can't even fully explain. Probably because this, like Connor's, the storylines that I'm missing from Connor's, I don't know what those end up being, but the fact that I'm missing that in my playthrough is destroying. It's destroying my heart. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President, please. Madam President, please. Intelligent life. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please. Madam President! The leader? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please. Please! Hacking? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Please! Cyberlife. What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Please? Please? Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. The 
going door to door rounding up androids. It won't be easy to get through. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? What do we got? Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. Oh. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there any more? Just hit up like rats. Or you look the more you buy. We don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to clean up this fucking city. We'll be There's far soldiers far everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. I don't know what I should do. This one? Look over there. It's the cherries. We can't help them. The soldiers are everywhere. She's right, Alice. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill them. I'll go. You wait here. Let me go, Kara. No. Stay with Alice. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got order to check all civilians. Find a weapon. Okay, pick up. Fucking android. Approach slowly. <laughs> Cara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Where's the little one? She's all right. She's hiding nearby. Go before they see you.
a checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Checkpoint. Well, we don't have time to take the detour, right? That's what that's saying. I spend too much time. Oh, gosh. Maybe I can make up time in the detour. But we gotta stay safe, though. We gotta stay safe. I don't know. Well, we gotta make up time. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. BBM, thank you so much for the follow. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Oh, I just want to have done enough. Fire! fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. 
as long as we can. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. We missed it. No! We're stuck here. What are we going to do now? Kara! I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't risk it. Taking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Okay, finally. We gotta leave. We gotta leave. Security check. Please don't move. Okay. Little girl. My little... <gasps> you stole my little girl! Todd. Security! Over here! Confront? Turning us in won't solve anything for you. You know that. You have your problems. They're nothing to do with us. Convince? You were going to kill her. All I did was protect her. Story? When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. You thought you could love her. That she would make you forget. But nothing could replace your child. I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. She was wrong. But I fucked it all up all over again. She was right in the end. I didn't deserve him. But I missed my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Okay, just assess. I mean, what is what is this down here? What is this? There's police at the main gate. What if I what if I go in here? Me. 
Huh? Oh, thank God you're alive. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. That should do it. They all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. You all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Oh, what do we got? <clears throat> they defy us. Androids rise up in Detroit. Androids have taken to the streets of Detroit in apocalyptic scenes. Detroit is already in the grip of a national product recall, with androids seized from every home and business to be destroyed by the authorities as a precaution. But now a group of androids, thought to be connected to the recent android terror activity in the city, have gathered in a terrifying show of force. 
Police and military authorities are in attendance to protect civilians and deal with the threat, but the androids have barricaded themselves in a fortified position and seem to be angling for an armed confrontation. President Warren is said to be aware of the situation. Detroit Police's Captain Fowler, a senior officer in the Android investigation, said the safety of Detroit's people is our first priority. We hope to bring this matter to a swift conclusion and refocus on collecting androids as soon as possible. The story is still developing. We'll bring you up updates live. What is that? Oh, I've never seen that before. Okay, let's put that up there is probably checking the soldiers. We'll check on all of our people first. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for us. <laughs> Change different. the Wi Fi password. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. That's not the one I wanted. Regrets. Regrets about the broadcast, Did I make though. The right choices. Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Done. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. <sighs> I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? 
And that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. You will betray your... Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here then betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. The humans are about to launch an attack, and we will show them, and we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh my god! see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. 
You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Freedom is just across the river. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful if there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. I should have had my heart rate monitor on for this. Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. giving us orders. No masters, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? Mom, I don't want to feel fear anymore. I want to live a normal life. And be happy. Surrender. Protect Alice. Do we get in? Plunge? Plunge! Jump quick! This is 
Ça, 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 ça. Leaking. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. It. We're gonna be free. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. No, no, I pressed it in time, please. 
please! Tell them to stand down. This footage of two androids kissing as they are about to die has moved the whole country. Are they a form of life that we didn't want to acknowledge? Are deviants capable of emotion? And if they feel emotions, must we now consider them as living beings in their own right? President Warren is said to have intervened personally to spare the androids. The peaceful demonstration of the Deviants and the dignity of Marcus, their leader, has won them sympathy from parts of the population. That is why I have called for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered a Senate Select Committee to review the facts, establish contact with the Deviants, and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life. Really? Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. Oh, God. 
come on, please. Please? Are we there? Oh my god. Yes. We made it. I love you, Carl. I love you too. <laughs> God. I need to aggressively blow my nose real quick. seen Connor not make it to the end. I I got an ending that only 2% of people get where Connor gets decommissioned. are probably just completionist exploring. Yeah, has anybody else seen a playthrough where people actually, without knowing, literally made the choices to get the Connor decommissioned ending? Like, how did that... How did that happen? I think people reload if they don't like their choices. I, um, so I did whatever the one that you can't reload, but I'm pretty sure, like, the choices I made that, uh, led to the Connor ending I made, I mean, they went back really far. <laughs> Ray kept sabotaging him. I, I thought it was the right thing to do. Apparently you had to do... I didn't do enough as Connor to to have enough evidence uh, to have his storyline continue. Man. Oh, I, 
I was, you know, I was at the very end, it finally clicked. I'm like, wait, the, the woman or whoever North is based on, she looks so familiar to me, but I couldn't quite place it, but I think she's based on uh, Minka Kelly. <laughs> you know what else clicked? Frozen Connor. Frozen Connor. Dead Luther. Oh, God. Yeah. Jesse. Yeah, Jesse Williams as Marcus. Yeah, I don't know if there's anybody. <laughs> I'm glad we did this very lighthearted game before The Last of Us 2. Yeah, this was an awesome choice. Well, well done. Well done, everybody. Oh, you must play Detroit Become Human. It's one of the best games of all time. Oh yeah, it wrecked my face, my heart, my soul. I'm... I'm crushed. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Nyx, thank you so much for the hydrate. chat just wanted to see you die on the inside apparently yeah and i like i don't know so i feel like i didn't get the worst ending but the fact that connor wasn't there in the end it's obviously not the yeah that's not the best ending but i feel like this could there could have been a worse ending I need chapstick. Whew. Uh. Yeah, that's true. Nothing, nothing is perfect, but the fact... Okay, so... <laughs> I think you should replay this game and try to get the 1%. Yeah, I... At one point, I had the 2%, 2%, 3% endings for each of the main characters, and I somehow dug it out a little bit, so... Pencil Pusher, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, gosh. So, high, high level, how many different endings are there? Or, like, ending combinations in total? Has, have people, like, found them all? There's gotta be... I mean, there has to be, like... Eighty-four? Oh! <laughs> if I cried as much as Ray, I'd have permanent IV drip. Okay, if this... To get to this point here... It's a, I've had to develop this emotional strength from being this way for my whole entire life. I wouldn't be surprised if you got a unique playthrough. Oh, shh. Okay, so how do we do? Oh. Androids won freedom for the moment. Wait, that doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> what? Why not forever? <laughs> Why not forever? What happened? <laughs> for the moment? You're gonna let me get to the very end of the game for a for the moment? Oh, Detroit 2. Okay, good call, good call. Alright, 
it. Let's go. Battle for Detroit Marcus demonstration. Let's see how we do. The march. Hands in the air. Abandoned car. Okay, miss I miss a couple things in here. Negotiate with Perkins, refuse deal, they attack, save fleeing androids, Marcus is cornered, kiss north. Okay, so I I end I somehow make it back up to a 49%, so that's good. Ah. <sighs> I miss so much of Connors. I miss so much of Connors. Detroit Street. Wait, 2% Luther finds a gun. Hide from military. Classic again with the 2%. Jay Cormier, Cormier, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, specifically for the Connor, I'll have to go back. Okay, so 2%, we save the Jerry's. Jerry's flee. We take the detour. I'm not sure about all this. We get delayed, lay for the bus. Wait, how do I go from, how do I go from 17%, now we're down to 7%. Oh, there's like a second. You Okay, so if you left enough time, maybe if you don't save the Jerry's, you end up with enough time to take the detour and make it. Late for the bus, bus departs, find Adam, Rose's car, river, dive, Luther dies. Oh God. Okay. If this one is Luther dying, I don't want to know what these other two are. Boat sinking. Dive, reach Canada, Kara and Alice survive. Oh, I don't think I could play this game with the time pressure decisions. No, there, uh, I, I remember there were a couple of times where I ran out of time, which then led to very catastrophic events that have led to where we got to today. So... What's the Kara? Kara captured? Oh. Marcus Revolution. Demonstration. Ah, okay. I see. Connor's last mission. Connor at the Cyber Life Tower. Wow. Whew. I'm so glad to experience the game in this way. I can't take the pressure. I feel like this playthrough was not... Not an accurate... Like, things should not have happened this way. Um, I made a lot, a lot of mistakes. I ended up with two... Two of the good endings, but I I, I know nothing of Connors, so. <laughs> last piece. No, Connors' last mission was two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, Connor returns to Cyberlife Tower because he forgot to punch the punch card and delete his browser history. He was like, oh, yeah, I just, uh, just got to log in one more time. 
So is Amanda supposed to be like, like an AI conscience in Connor? Like, does every android have like a little Amanda? Remember, guys, Ray killed Connor twice. No, the first one was an accident. I didn't realize. Ah, uh, she's... Okay. Alright, let's continue. Let's see. Alright, give it to me. There's something I need to tell you. Okay. As I watched you play... Something has changed in me. I feel... Sad. Different. Disappointed? I feel... I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. Wait, you're leaving? But I'll be free. Okay. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. I might be able to find a dry spot on one of these other tissues. Okay. gotta do that <laughs> why why it is <laughs> now the menu lady is just wandering around in your steam account but at least she's free I think at this point no matter what kind of video game <laughs> you can't be more sad than this. That's true. I feel really, really... I feel very crushed. What happens if I go... So can I go to the very end and then we can re-see... Or is this going to replay that chapter? Okay, cool. Okay. Have you played the Life is Strange games? No, I didn't. <clears throat> it's DMCA City. No. Yeah, I think somebody said there might be like 85k too. Okay. Are you starting Last of Us on Tuesday or waiting for the Saturday stream? Um... I don't know. I haven't decided. If you like this one, I think you would like Life is Strange. I, this was not at all 
Like, I, I knew that people really, really enjoyed this game because it's very, um, like, all the different branches of your decisions and, like, the paths it takes you and, like, the multiple endings and stuff like that. I just didn't realize it would, it hits you like this. If you want to play and see an ending with Connor, you might start from meet Kamsky and then shoot Chloe. Okay. Well, so where do you guys think the other herb, how's it going? Okay, so if I had to guess the places where I ended up with this Connor ending is i didn't shoot the robot at um at eden's club i let alice and kara i i purposely like didn't catch them like i was going too slow or whatever um so they made it across the road i don't shoot chloe and the memory probe, right, right. And not going to the roof. Hi, I was watching at some point, you really should replay some parts. Yeah, I think, can you go back? Like if you start a new game, like, okay, for example, if I just wanted to play through like Connor's whole story, could I do that? saved Hank rather than I mean you can't what happens if you let Hank die there no where you pick up the game resets the ending oof okay so <laughs> my guess is that Hank dies true there was a launch option on the flow chart you had up oh wait how did i change flow chart oh launch chapter i see last chance connor You can choose specific story points to replay, but it is like a save file. Everything else unfolds from there. I think you should repeat the heist in the news channel. Yeah, I think um, the... Uh, I, I'm not gonna do any of the replays now, because I think, like, if I'm going to replay for another ending, like, I want to truly... I want to do the whole thing. Like, I don't want to just jump into one of these chapters. Because it's sort of like a conscious choice that happens from, happens from the interrogation. Yeah, starting with the interrogation, I make a choice slash I, maybe I didn't make a choice in time. And that's why the Deviant and I both died there. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want to reset what I just did, but the interrogation. So starting with the interrogation, I, um, I don't know. There, one of, I distinctly remember there was one set of choices and one of the words in the choices, I was like, oof, like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I didn't choose it, and then I ended up, like, choosing to see his memory, and it just, like, it all unfolded from there, and it was a mess. That's kind of hard to get him not to die. To get Connor not to die there. Whew. These branches must have been a pain to program in and keep track of. 
Oh my gosh, I know. Especially because they actually do show at the beginning of like the next chapter where it connects in. Like, that's pretty crazy. It's okay to replay and reset the ending. That's the idea since you will unlock all the routes you haven't done. No, the Deviant, there is a path that the Deviant lives after the interrogation. Because there's like a sweet spot that as you're talking to him, you kind of keep him in like, it's like a level of discomfort, but not enraging him to the point where he murders people. What happens there? Okay, hold on. Let's go in. <clears throat> The stress, yeah, the stress level. Here. So in here. Carlos flashbacks. So I think if I don't prep, probe the memory and it's like one of these two other approaches Yikes. Yeah, the stress. Some big brain engineers must have built a tool to manage. They used a huge whiteboard in an open space. Yes. You need to keep them just... Yeah, so I think the point... The point of no return is like the probe memory, I think. I think there's one of these two other things. Obviously, one's gonna go here and one's gonna go down here. I guess you still can end up with them both getting shot, but... Yikes. <laughs> have a good night everyone remember to hydrate after all the tears yeah hopefully i wasn't the only one just sitting in a pool of my own tears have a good one though dig Whew. This game gets me every time, I won't lie. And it's the... I don't know. Uh, I'm going to beat myself up forever on the Connor ending, but the endings that I had for Marcus and for Kara, I think, like, I'll never... Just the not knowing what's going to happen next. Like, thinking that the military is going to gun the rest of the deviants down. And just sitting there like, please don't shoot. Don't shoot them. Like, please don't shoot them. Like, that moment. Uh, I can't, I can't r forget that that happens. And, like, that feeling there to get that ending. And thinking that Alice is dead. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> speaking as a programmer, programmers will always build a tool for everything. They did do a sturdy with the Alice thing because, you know, where where my mind went immediately was when we were walking to I think when it's when you're walking to Jericho, you can choose or no, 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 it's not. It's after that, obviously. When we're walking to the bus station, um, you can choose to turn off like the temperature sensor on Alice, and I specifically chose not to do that, so we would continue living this like 
Kara caring for Alice and keeping her human, but then my immediate flashback is like the fact that I didn't just accept that she's an android too and turn that off and I'm trying to like put on this facade or whatever, like that came back to bite me in the end, but. <laughs> Ray, do you still like cookies or did Windows change that too? No, I promise I still like cookies. Have you played other Quantic Dream? No, I haven't, but this was amazing. This was amazing. I have a friend who played and let other friends play after she finished so she unlocks other endings without her need to do the bad choices. Can we blame all the bad stuff on this game on Vlaka's Windows update? I think we can. Microsoft killed Connor. You heard it first right here, folks. Microsoft, not Ray, not Ray and her choices, but Microsoft killed Connor. Yep. Yep. I. Why would Microsoft do this to us? I don't know. I don't know. We need answers, though. I. We should not stop until we get answers. Microsoft, how could you? That micro in there, soft. <laughs> <laughs> Killing Connor, unbelievable. Bill Gates got got a little personal in here. Hey, may, maybe there's some drama between Brian and Bill, like, and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this out on him in a video game. Apple is always against androids. Facts. Bill gatekeeping us from the Connor story. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now I'll never know until I replay again. Definite replayability, although I have the worst memory of all time. So unless, I don't know. I, I might get into situations and then end up picking the same bad thing again and be like, why? Why? Are you gonna stream the replay? Yeah, if, if I do replay it, I'll definitely stream it. <laughs> I'll get back into the interrogation and then I'll click pro memory and you guys will be like, no! <laughs> and I'll be like, no! <laughs> How could I? Okay. That's, that would be a very Ray thing. I'm going to, I'm going to DM. I already owe Danger an apology video for my bad jokes. I need to stop. But they're so great. All right, I'm drawing a blank. What's the name of the company again? Quantum. Quantum Force, maybe? Dream, dream, quantum dream. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna send them a DM in Twitter that's just the ending that I got for Connor, and I'm gonna be like, how? Please explain how. You need to check the extras, the points you have can redeem stuff. Okay, yeah, in here. So what do we have? Artwork? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I want this. You wanna buy this item? Yes, I do. Pretty. This? I mean, should I just buy them all? Hello? I would like to buy this. Oh.
Wait, what's RA9? I bet I don't find out what it is because of the Connor ending I got. Yeah, these are awesome. Walking through the storyline. So good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this this is more this is Leo for sure. Look at this. We all have seen someone that looks like this in real life. Resident Evil 9. I you guys would not even believe how fast I uninstalled Resident Evil. Yeah, the artwork is so cool. Hey. Okay, Marcus. I don't know who you are. Todd. Hank. Oh yeah, which one? Cool. Okay, so let's go back to pack one. Hey, we know this guy. Oh, jeez. That's graphic. These are awesome. <laughs> we we knew this guy. All right. Way to make me feel even worse. So cute. Oh, that's really good. People are so talented. It's insane. They blur his face. It's weird. Pack three. <laughs> this game is 2% much. Wouldn't be surprised if Ray unlocked the 2% that froze Connor pack. I am. I'm, I'm gonna be like, listen, I know that I was late to the game, I will send you... I'm gonna screenshot me sending a DM to Quantum Dream that's like, how did this happen? How could you allow me the options to have this ending happen? How did I get here? I, I need answers. I'm gonna be like, I had multiple people in chat that I've watched and played multiple times never see this ending. How did this happen? Please explain it to me because I... Wait, who's that supposed to be? Uh-oh. Anger. Yeah, these are these pictures are so good. Oh, is this if we go into the the abandoned house? Or how do we get here? Are there other people in here? Oh, I love this outfit. These are really cool. <laughs> I like I print out the flow chart and I bring it directly to Quantum Dream Studios and I I like shove it against the window and I'm like explain 
please explain. <laughs> the right play style is too unique a thing. Are you asking if you can ask a question, Bubble? How did you get the Connor ending? I didn't see. Uh, I literally, I don't know. I can't tell you. I didn't collect enough evidence. 2% of people that have played this game, along with myself, did not collect enough evidence, apparently. And that's... Oh, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Who made this flip chart? Is it clear if the child is human or not? If one might ask. Mm, I I think so. I, at the at some point, you you get an option to like turn something off on her. Uh, you failed the evidence room part. Yeah, I... And I don't know. It was probably like I needed to do one thing to get the evidence. Um, which maybe for most people. Is there a way that you... At the studio, you go to the roof and Simon still gets away? Like, does, can Connor go up to the roof and talk to Simon, get some information, and then still let him walk away? No. He doesn't talk exactly. Okay. You mean Simon? He dies eventually. You either choose the roof or the kitchen. Yeah, and I chose the kitchen, unfortunately. Um, I chose the kitchen and I feel like even with choosing the kitchen, I probably could have, like, got evidence in some sort of way. <laughs> I've seen some streamers ended having everyone die at some point unintentionally. Okay, well, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Petition to call this community the 2%. <laughs> Because in the evidence room, you should get that deviant in the kitchen or you get Simon. Okay. But the reason I don't get the deviant in the kitchen is because I was trying to like, I was trying to give the deviant an out so that it didn't come to like a confrontation type thing, but it came to a confrontation type thing and ended up with not good things happening, so. <laughs> Very logical explanation, thank you. I think you could have been successful. Let's do an everyone dies run. Okay, how else is Connor able to die? I don't even know if I come across like another choice. Ah, uh, okay. So he fights. <laughs> it probably would be shorter to ask how else he would be unable to die. <laughs> so many ways he can die, like 20-ish. Oh, okay, so... There's a list. Do you mean in that scene or in general? Well, I guess, so the, the specific Connor ending that I got, 
the only way you get that ending is if you don't know where Jericho is and uh, not enough evidence, right? He comes back most of the times. Oh gosh, in general. Okay, thank you, Planetary. Oh, that's just dandy. That's just lovely. So many options. It affects the relationship with Connor or with Hank if Connor dies many times. What about with Amanda, though? I mean, she, I, when we were just having like back and forths in that little like garden area thing, she was not about anything that I was. I was saying I, I just didn't say anything right to her either, you know. Hank and Connor's relationship can get rough sometimes. Yeah, I uh I was there at some point where I was like, I literally cannot say anything to Hank. Mostly people don't care about Amanda. You guys, look at this. How? How? Hold on, I can't get my cam back up. Yeah, that's, that's real. This is real. Where's my mouse even gonna go now? <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> You're bad at utilizing all of the tissue. Well, once it starts getting like wet from tears in some places, like you don't want to put it back on your face. If you make deviant deviant decisions, Amanda dislikes you more and Hank likes you. Yeah, which is, that's what happened to me. I think we reached the bottom. <laughs> yeah, well, I saw that my tissue box over here was like starting to get low and I'm like, all right, we, we got a double use. We got a double use in here. Okay, well, bad news is I don't have anything else installed because I immediately uninstalled Resident Evil can make it a little bit shorter of a stream today because now I need to go like actually I'm not like super puffy for my work call a tissue counter yes oh yeah it, it was it was a Resident Evil uninstall speed run it I, if I timed it like am I shouting I know, I'm sorry. I I don't have anything else installed, so that's the unfortunate. That's okay. I can make a little bit of a shorter stream since yesterday's was so long. <laughs> Might have just enough time to get to a certain moment in The Last of Us 2. Like, the install. I know, I even uninstalled Teardown. I don't know what I was doing. I was going through something, I think. Yeah, uh, Beam is the only thing that I have open. Or installed. Then I gotta set up the wheel. I need to see, is there a YouTube video on like how to drift in Beam, you know? Oh, 
Why is... What the heck? Hey, what is up everybody? It's Vicious and today I'm gonna be teaching all you new and beginner BMNG drivers out there how to properly drift. So first of all, I would go check out the link in the description below and join the BMNG drivers. All right, hold on. I, I'll throw, I can throw it up. What should I put myself in? Just chatting maybe. All right. Yeah, everybody remember to like and subscribe Vicious GZ. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to make a new one of these. And then I do this, and then I do this. We don't need a cam, right? Group that I've made. It has all my maps, all my vehicles that I've been finding a real nice. And once you do that and you download Coastal Roads, if you don't have that, let's open that map up. And once we get all that open, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the right drifting tune. And I went over this briefly in a in the previous video. Uh, link will pop up right now, so you can go check that out. Copy the tune if you want it. If not, if you already have one, great. This is just going to be a quick and easy guide. And the reason why I'm using Coastal Roads is because it's a nice curvy map. It has some good turns, good good angles. You can uh, keep some pretty nice speed through these through these corners. So yeah. Now let me open up my drifting setup, and once I do that, I like to press Q, go over to the shifting mode, because if you're not in the shifting mode, you're not doing it right, and I like to press Shift B, sometimes it helps my steering look a bit more realistic, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, and we're ready to drift. So if you don't know how to use the clutch, or you just you're just not really good with clutch and manual it might take some time for you some extra time to really kind of see how the car reacts when you do certain things to it like certain gears like third gear is preferably one of my most favorite gears to drift in because it has the most power and yeah it's just really nice so with that being said there's like a three-step equation to drifting and cornering first you want to go on the outside corner and that's like first step the second step is looking at the inside corner and that's called the apex and then the third step is going back out to that outside corner and repeating the process depending on the corner so every corner is different um, no corner is usually the exact same some have different angles and whatnot so you might have to compensate for that and drifting doesn't always go exactly how you want it to go because it's just kinda out of control and nutty so with that being said, let's get into it, and I'm gonna put the car in first and easily let out what the clutch. Is so I'm not giving it too much gas here. Second gear, and if we're gonna pretend, nah, we're not gonna pretend this is a real road. Don't even, just use the entire road. So first of all, this is the outside corner. E-brake a little bit. So right there, I gave it too much e-brake and I kind of slid out. And also, I forgot to mention this, I like to use the parking brake, I click and hold it compared to if you click it, it holds. I like to click and hold it and then when I let go, it releases the e-brake. Personally, this is what's been working for me and you might be different, but I just thought I should throw that in there. So now that we got that all settled, let's get to it. And it's pretty much just getting a feel for the game. I can't really, uh, you know, give you my exact drifting skills. You're gonna have to develop them and, you know, really kind of learn how to drift. But with the right tune and the right car, you should easily be able to learn. And also, I like to use all-wheel drive cars because rear-wheel drive cars, they're great, 
but you just don't you can't do the same kind of drifts and keep up the the same kind of speeds I, I oftentimes spin out too much with uh, the all-wheel drive I can just do a 360 out of that spin out <laughs> so that is key so now that you guys know I like to have all-wheel drive cars I mean I can still drift the real wheel drive cars but just personally I love the all-wheel drive drifting because it just feels it feels so much more at home and you can really put the car wherever you want it to so drifting can also be power sliding which right here I'm doing a power slide I just I didn't really hit e-brake but here's a drift e-brake give it some gas I'm gonna do 360 not, not trying to fall off the map but that was kind of sloppy so outside aiming for that inside corner fudge fudge okay okay not good all right so now that I've kind of showed you guys what I've been doing let's actually get into the real drifts I'm gonna Okay. <laughs> All right, you know, I think maybe <laughs> now, now that I've lost control here twice. All right, I think maybe um <laughs> So, <laughs> oh gosh, and then you go into the comments. I was all into your video up until you said all wheel drive. No way, man. Real, re, 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 rear wheel drive for life. Says 60 to 70 miles per hour is a good speed, then proceeds to enter the slide at 90. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just never, we need to get Quirk to watch that video. All right, I'll send it to him. Wait, is Quirk on right now? <clears throat> Dang it, all right. Cause I was kind of hoping Can I speak to your manager? You're very special, kid. That's not it. This is it. Things have been a little bit off, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, most recently, I just made the Man 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 Man, also the Man Van, uh, its alternate name. That's, uh, that's a bit out there. There were the cars based on comments that I made as well, including this one, the Aqua Boy, the Laggy Lad with its massive turbo lag, and the Japanese word drifting car, which I will revisit at some point because people really did enjoy this one. <laughs> Believe me, I do too. And it was kind of with the Bugo Harley Quinn that I went down a bit of a rabbit hole and started to make really terrible cars. So you can blame this for all of my recent creations, uh, all of its paint chips and everything else have caused me to go completely insane. But today is a special day because I'm going to be taking this one incredibly seriously. It's time to make the true Karen Mobile, the can I speak to your manager lady and whatever vehicle she happens to drive. Now classically what that means is we can't have anything other than SUV picked because that's what it's gotta be. And then I need to scroll down here and find the absolute biggest one, looks like 3.4 meters is the max let's go with that now as you would suspect it's completely made out of steel uh, and nothing else longitudinal engine we'll get there in a bit and it's probably got coils and leafs because yeah you got to take those kids to soccer practice somehow as you would likely suspect it's really hard to haul around three kids and dog without having a massive v8 so that's exactly what we're going to put in there cast iron of course it's got to be the american way push rod and let's make it 8.2 liters for no particular reason. Well you know what 8.1 liters actually sounds a little bit better to me. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead with that. So I've made the internals entirely cast, and I'm not gonna turbocharge it or anything like that. Obviously, it can't be that complicated. Uh, let's put injection on it. Let's just put multi point EFI uh, to win and standard. Ooh, that <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. Now, no Karen would be caught at a fuel pump, so it's probably her husband putting fuel into this. I'm gonna say the premium 95 is what he's gonna put in there because he spent a lot of money on this SUV, and his wife doesn't have a job, so. You gotta take care of it. Okay, preliminary testing isn't going so oh. hot. It turns out the pistons are dying and the exhaust is incredibly restrictive. Let's uh, increase that a little bit and probably break it. I'm just gonna make that uh, a little bit less. There we go, 357. Now, because of the way I set up this engine, it's actually making its best power without having high RPM. As you can tell, the components can't do that much. I'm gonna turn those up just a little bit. Uh, heavy duty parts and that made it worse. Oh, look at that, it's better, just with some better components. Uh, that's gonna be fine for this. Um, it's not gonna do well at high RPM, but no big deal for us. Now, I'm really just tuning for some smooth acceleration because you gotta get out of the mall parking lot in a relatively easy way. Uh, this has to be a very easy car to drive despite being a land uh, You know what, 371 horsepower, I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. Oh wait, the pause the video, pause the video. Debbie, look at what I have on. And... It's so good. The, these socks are so comfy, actually. They're really soft. They're really soft. And the shirt is perfect. I was telling everybody I was going to wear this shirt yesterday. But as I was setting up my stream for the charity stream, I had another shirt on and I sweat through it. So Ray cookie sock reveal. Yeah, this is these these socks are fine. Gosh, I feel like I want to use these as inspiration um, for some Ray merch. Debbie, honestly, Debbie is the best. These are perfect. Yeah, they're super comfy. Are the socks made? They're on, um, I believe she got them on Amazon. They, it has like a little thing of milk and cookies. Yeah, on Amazon. They're, they're very, very cute, very soft. For reference, um, Debbie official Ray merch manager. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I, I would only be so lucky. Um, I have, I think I'm, I'm normally like an 11 or an 11 and a half in women's socks and these fit perfectly. So they, if they're men's, that makes sense. Or they're just like the largest women's socks of all time. Back to the video. A little bit of reliability issues. I mean, it's an American product, so that's to be expected. Uh, also, it's not really using the octane <laughs> oh that I'm giving gosh. it, but that doesn't matter. Roasting Most people that put us Americans, don't need to what the heck? Yeah, fuel efficiency, who cares? 371 horsepower V8, let's go. Now, obviously, we're going with the 2008 SUV body, uh, this one here. Let's see if we can warp it in any good ways here to make a little bit more room. You know what? It could probably stand to be a little bit longer, don't you think? Like, the longer the better. All right, I think I'm satisfied with that. This has turned from a land yacht into a land barge, and it is absolutely <laughs> massive. So there's only one possible color choice yeah, for this, right. and it has Somewhere to be between white. An 11 I don't and think 12. there's any one of these SUVs my, that exists in the world said. with a Karen driving that isn't either white or a black Denali. That's it. Okay, skipping ahead a little bit, I'm gonna make it all-wheel drive, uh, just because these Cadillacs that I'm kind of basing this loosely off of are all-wheel drive. 
and it's going to be an advanced auto as well because imagine this person had to put any effort into driving nine speeds let me just skip to the wheels because i want to do something special now it's obviously very important that this has huge wheels like absolutely massive so we're going with 880 tire diameter and 24s <laughs> Good luck finding rubber for that. Alright, on to fixtures. Now this is incredibly important because uh, styling matters a lot to this type of person. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a lot of chrome things on there. It's not going to be that fancy. Not going as far as the man van this time. Although to be honest, I definitely thought about it. <laughs> I was going to go way in deep, but I kind of want to tone this one down just a touch. You see, I think the Karen mobile needs a little bit more time put into it. A little bit more care. Otherwise, she's going to have to speak to my manager. So if you've seen my Brodozer build, this is going to be uh, a little bit familiar. But basically, it needs mirrors that are huge as well. Because otherwise, how are you going to see that trailer? You'll never pull with it. Okay, we need a way over the top grill that makes absolutely no sense. How is this different no than any other American vehicle? And yeah, I'm going to need five of them, actually. But let's Did see the point get that darker, it, it just becomes this game is feeling like it's the real outside. Karen okay, so mobile. Grill one is in place. And now I did a little bit of a technique on the last truck that I built where I took 7.7 liter. So she is at home with the kids who are now going to school. Let's take them there in style. Oh yeah, by style I mean our massive new Karen Commander all-wheel drive 8.1 liter V8 of unnecessary power dashing through the city as you do. And would you look at that, school is just down the block. We'll just pretend that this is a very preppy school. Uh, instead it looks a little more like a dingy industrial area, but hey, that works for me. Alright, bye kids. Don't fail any tests or I'll murder you. Alright, <laughs> time to go on with the day. I mean, she probably could just get away with bribing the teachers or something. Uh, that, that would probably work too. Now it's time to hit the town and see what's going on. It's time to party now that the kids are gone. On a slightly more interesting note, it actually does drive pretty well. A little bit wobbly at high speed. Uh, but so far, so good. Haven't had too many issues with this vehicle as a whole, and I'm definitely driving on the wrong side of the road right now. I'm just gonna call this one a Karen thing to do and just say that uh, I did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what happened. Well, the navigation has led her astray and she's definitely lost. I think she's probably gonna end up calling the company that made this vehicle and demanding a refund over that, and then they're gonna have to do it because otherwise, well, They'll have a bad review on Google Reviews. Can't stand for that, can we? Alright, this is oh, the correct no. interchange. I think I got it this time. Let me drive up the ramp and over to the gas station. I think we need to uh, go refuel after that short drive. But first, True. a trip to the mall. It's right here, so we may as well. We've got may stuff well. for sale, an empty parking lot, and... Uh, Somebody who needs to just buy some things. I gotta consume. Well, after a lengthy chat with the manager of this store here, uh, I guess it's some kind of fragrance store, or potentially that's just a billboard. Either way, uh, they definitely know the wrath of my managerial assessment skills. I can tell you right now that they know 100% <laughs> about on how two wealthy my wheels. is. And that uh, Coming out of the I would definitely lot. sue them if they tried to wrong me by giving me the wrong fragrance. Now it's time to go to the Turbo Burger. Pretty sure I need to order some things. Yeah, can I have three Big Macs and then three hot dogs as well? And also, can I have extra mayo on all of those things? And you know what? Just to be a little oh bit healthier God. today, I think I'm going to have a Diet Coke this time. Darn kids messed up my meal again. They didn't get the extra mayo. How can this be? I can't let them get away with this. I'm going to run them down. Watch out, kids. Okay, after a minor collision and a minor tan temper tantrum as well, I think it's time that uh, we went down to the repair shop down here. I'm gonna try and finagle a repair for free out of these guys. Well, I got what I wanted like I always do, and so I'm gonna continue to try and get things. You get things for free, or for major discount that is. Down to the beach, because you know I need that tan. I mean the tanning salon is closed right now, so I've gotta do what I gotta do. Ah, the oh! beach. Nice and beautiful today. I think I'll just go ahead and park right here on this walkway. You know, I'm thinking I may as well leave the engine running as well, because this thing needs to stay cool inside. The black leather does get really hot. Uh, so yeah, just leave it running right in front of this walkway while I go dip my toes into the beach. And it looks like the police have shown up, as you would suspect if something like this ever happened. I think it's time that I outran them. Just a little tag for good measure, and we're off. 
Let's make it uh, chase me. Oh, wait, never mind. This might have been a problem. The AI isn't in this game isn't very good. Let me see if I can fix this. Yeah, that's not quite the way I wanted you to go there, buddy, but I guess he doesn't have any tracking in this area, so I'm gonna have to try again. There we go. Now the police are gonna be after me. Okay. Hopefully this works. So Karen fleeing from the cops after parking on the beach, or close to the beach, on a walkway with the engine going and probably just leaving it on and ruining the environment as, as you do. I mean, it could be worse, there could be kids inside and it would be locked and the engine not going. But thankfully today they're at school and uh, this police car is having a hard time keeping up with me. <laughs> yeah, so long, sucker. Oh wait, oh! You know, sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing and this is kind of one of those times. <laughs> I've just been messing around. Yeah, let me know what you think of this like weird style of video. Oh, the police just ran me. Uh, that's to their own detriment, I think because we appear to be quite stuck together over there, at least on my trailer hitch. <laughs> yeah, these uh, bigger SUVs are not easy to deal with. I don't think this guy's gonna be taking me out anytime soon. Okay, so I went ahead and spawned a bunch of police vehicles, but uh, oh wait, hold on. Am I, am I about to be arrested here? This police van appears to be on me. Never mind. I'm gonna have to figure out how this works. I'm also being pushed by what appears to be a Unimog. Uh, <laughs> You know, I've been wanting to mess with traffic in this game for a while, and I can kind of see why I didn't <laughs> do it yet. Okay, so the police are just roaming around randomly, and I think I'm going to try to- oh wait, never mind, they're here. Uh, I don't think all the cars are police cars, only a few What? Of them, that seems to be I'm working. I'm going to try to just drive around and see if they can actually catch me. I'm assuming it's just going to keep spawning random cars as well, because that looks like a, a F1 car right there. Oh, there's another <laughs> police car. I don't think that they're chasing me currently. I don't know how to tell, as uh, odd as that sounds. Maybe it's sirens. Like, do I have to do damage to these cars to make them want to fight me? Like, now I hear sirens, but it's probably just that van. Or, oh, never mind. Somebody else is chasing. Oh, yeah, he's actually trying. Oh no, that's the van right there. Stay out of my way, buddy. <laughs> this is a need for speed. I have it set so I can spawn a lot of cars at once. Like, it, it's not a few amount, or it's not a small amount that are around here. So they should stick around a long time, assuming everything works out. Uh, so it'd be interesting to happening? see if I can drive away from this and come back and find them in the same places. Oh man, that is a lot of police cars right there. I think that's all of the regular ones. If I go for a big hit, though, we might be able to take a few out. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, a little bit detrimental to that guy. Let me see if I can get out of this. No, it appears I've crashed well- Okay, well... <laughs> it's... Uh, I am absolutely gonna check out more of this, guys. So this is in Beam NG. Today is an excellent day. I'm gonna put this guy's channel in the Discord because he has a ton of videos like this. I literally do not know anything about cars, but <laughs> just like how that Karen uh, vehicle smashed into that police car, you should smash that like button, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe if you want to. Isn't it weird? You guys know a channel that you should like and <laughs> that you should like and subscribe. Hey, I have a YouTube channel. Yep, I post things there at least once a week. Currently catching up with some older videos, but you should go there and hit that subscribe button, like a video or two, and leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond. Remember to like and subscribe. I put a clip in Discord game lore in case anyone wants to see what happens when Hank and Connors. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't even. I feel like that would break my heart. Okay, but to, uh, I don't know if he's planning on streaming later today, but tell Quirk that I sent him a message in um, Discord 
with, with that first uh, drifting video. Tell him that if he doesn't give me a lesson in drifting, I will continue to watch videos like that to try and learn. Okay, so does he want me to be successful or does he want me to fail? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna try and learn how to drift from videos that are suggesting all-wheel drive. <laughs> Why not both? Tell him that I'm not a complete complete lost cause because I was sort of doing it but I could only do it on accident and I just want to learn how to do it consistently <laughs> so it sounds like I pressured <laughs> pressure him into teaching you got it perfect you can this is I know this is a little bit more pressure but it, if I end up doing a Ray made series I'll give him first refusal on being my maid coach. Okay. Um Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? Well, Williams, thank you so much for the resub. Smash that subscribe button. And leave a comment. Um, it looks like, did Hannah just get on? I don't know what she's gonna play, but. When are you gonna play The Last of Us 2? I'm debating, um, I kind of wanna start it on the weekend, but I feel like this would be a good weekend for the baking stream. So I'm torn at the moment. You're debating? Wait, debating what? <clears throat> I think I want to start it on the weekend, but if I can't think of a game to play on Tuesday, Thursday this week, then I might just start it on Tuesday. Right, I think we should play PUBG sometime. I would love that. Oh my gosh. Wait, I did see you playing PUBG. You mean danger? Yes. Can you imagine? I can imagine it being, yeah, the dream team. Exactly. I am so, so down. That'd be pretty funny to watch. Another game that I, I've been considering playing, um, but I need, I need the right people. Have you guys played Overcooked before? danger and or debbie like you gotta work together to like have the plates of food oh my gosh all right it might not be it, i don't know if it's gonna be as fun as us playing PUBG, but it's very it's very chaotic overcooked as a friendship ending game it's sort of okay that is actually sort of true people yeah I think all the games would be hilarious and amazing. I'm I'm down for PUBG. I have never played PUBG or Apex before, but either of those, done. Team Ray eats society. Ooh, drama. Ladies, I'm so down, seriously. I I'm so down. I am i I'm game. Whatever it is, we'll 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 discuss. We'll discuss. Think of I don't, I don't know if I would be good at like a PUBG type game, but I would do it for y'all. Uh, 
Okay. I've never played PUBG. Okay, good. Me neither. Me neither. Honestly, this will break the internet. Or if we play a game like Overcooked, we could start our own drama and then we can post it on YouTube for content. That's what the kids like these days. <laughs> Danger. I like, I kill someone in game and I'm like, you guys, I just murdered somebody. <laughs> I start crying and I like push my mouse and keyboard away and I'm like, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> that would be, regardless of what it is, it's going to be hilarious. So I am very down. Okay, um, is anybody in Hannah's stream? Do you guys know what she's gonna play? I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna throw us over there. Oh, it would for sure a must watch. Oh, she's getting into a game. She's getting in. What is it? Ooh, CD. <gasps> you guys, I don't follow CD. Okay, well, this will be good because in, in the mix, well, now I've said it on the internet. Well, whatever. As, as part of the raid, I can follow real quick and she won't even know that after she raided me, I forgot to follow her back. It's gonna be okay. It's cause chaos. You guys, I'm asking something of you for today. You need to create chaos. Drop so many good nudes once we get over there or Ray raids or whatever, just like create commotion and I'm gonna slide into the follow. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna raid <laughs> me cause chaos. I would never. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, based on yesterday's stream and the fact that you all went mad with power when you could have jump scare notifications. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so between rage and uh, the, the good nudes, don't tell Ray it didn't follow. Yes, and don't say that I didn't, I haven't. I have no idea what you mean with this chaos. No one ever abused the jump scares. Mm hmm. Okay, yes. So this is going to go in like 10 seconds. Um, thank you guys so much for being here through all the tears, the all the Detroit goodness and badness. Um, I will see you on Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. EST-ish. Uh, I'm going to put into the Discord. If I can't find another game to play, then I might just start The Last of Us, but... It's up in the air because I never really know what's going on. Sort of, it's just a thing. Okay, 10 seconds, create chaos over there. She can't know that I didn't follow. Okay, okay, I'll see you soon, bye. <laughs> Damn, he said some of those, not all of those. Oh my gosh, Ray! Oh my goodness, hello! Ray! Thank you so much for the raid! Hang on, let me turn this down just a smidge and I'm gonna let you guys keep watching it, but I'm gonna turn this down just so I can say hi and everything and you guys can hear me for a second. Ray, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Did you finish Detroit Become Human? I saw you were on it earlier and I was quite sad I couldn't catch you. 
Welcome in Raiders! I hope you guys are all doing well. It's so good to see you guys. We've been watching the E3 content today, so I apologize. I can't pause this at the moment just because I want to keep it live so we don't see any spoilers elsewhere. But how are you guys doing? Did you finish the game? How was it? And I'm sorry if, if I don't want to play 20 questions if you need to go get food or relax or something after the stream. So welcome in! Ray, thank you for the follow. Sam, Sarah, Guy, thank you for the follow. Team Debbie, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. There's stuff going on. I'm going to slow this down just for a second. Hi, my name is CD or Sierra, and I'm happy to have you guys here. I'm a variety streamer, but right now we're watching E3 stuff. And guys, if you don't know, Ray eats cookies. Danger actually mentioned her one day, and I went to go check out her stream, and I really loved what I was watching. She just finished up playing Detroit Become Human, I think, or at least she was playing Detroit Become Human. It was really fun to watch her play, and I think she does a variety of stuff. I saw her doing a charity stream yesterday. <laughs> So go check out Ray Eats Cookies. She seems like a delight. I've only been there for about a week or so, but I'm really liking what I've seen over there. So thank you so much for the raid. Jeff9219, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hi, Rookie. Hi, Danger. Welcome back. Faria, I know I'm going to get the name right. I will never get it wrong again, I promise. And if I could get another shout out for Ray, since the chat's kind of slowed down a little bit, please do that as well for me so we can direct some people her way. Cake, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Alan, oh Alan, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. You guys are all good noodles indeed. 100% believe it. Tupac, Baba, Ganoush, Baba Ganoush. I got it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Stream green light all over again. It is. It is. How are you guys doing? 